about to go. Get ready with the fire extinguisher. Oh! Welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Joshua Bardwell. I'm Ladrib. Captain Vanover. It's your boy Vortex. Oh. And today we're talking about getting rid of batteries. When you need to get rid of a battery, what is the right way to do it? What is the safe way to do it? So we're gonna show you five good ways and also five really, really bad mm. ways to go ahead and uh, get rid of your lipos. So we have some we have some really, why are you looking at me, man? Once you've gotten the battery discharged or destroyed, what's the best way to actually dispose of it? You mean you guys are not just like throwing them in the trash or something? No, you can't. Mm. <laughs> You gotta recycle, Jeffrey, or else we're I gonna get some comments. Actually, I'm just, I just hoard my old batteries. I'm like, maybe I'll use one of those cells one day. And cut the leads off, because you can recycle the, you can upcycle the leads into your own yeah, use. for sure. But the pack that you've now cut the leads off, you should recycle. And you can actually find recycling bins at a little place called Best Buy. And not just Best Buy, but most hardware stores, Home Depot, Lowe's. Obviously those are great ways, but you shouldn't just throw them in the trash. But is that, okay, I know that doesn't fit with the script, but like I've read that it that lithium batteries don't contain like a bunch of mercury or anything, and that if you decide what you want, it's better to recycle them. Okay. But if you so decide you want to throw them out, it's not like you're killing the planet if you choose to do that. global warming. If though. it's discharged. If it's discharged. As long as there's not a charge on it. So if you need to dispose of a battery for whatever reason, before you actually dispose of it, you want to get rid of all of the charge. We're going to the grocery store to get some salt. And the theory is that salt water is conductive. If you put the battery in a bucket of salt water, the ions in the water will let the electricity slowly flow uh, from positive to negative and discharge the battery over time. Let's get a few, it's 84 cents. I think we can afford it. Yeah. How much salt should we put in the water? Well, you told me 30 grams to every liter. That's what Oscar Leong says. We don't really know, so let's just but pour salt's, a whole bunch that's in. like a dollar's worth of salt, so we're just gonna pour a whole bunch in. All. We're just gonna submerge this in here. Ah! <laughs> See why you... <laughs> you gonna put it in there. That's it. Is it bubbling? It is bubbling. If electrolysis is happening, then we could be making hydrogen. When you push a DC current through water, it breaks the H2O into H and O. Something's going on it's because it's going when I, both Yeah, look, no, look, it's kind of fizzing. Yeah. I thought at first it was just air. But no, it's coming from the balance lead and it's coming from the XT60. Set it and forget it. Oh, you can see, look, there's some corrosion. There's corrosion there on the positive lead. This is actually the question about this discharge method. People have said that when it corrodes, then it doesn't conduct electricity as well and it doesn't fully discharge. So let's see. But and it we're did reading... discharge it. We're not getting anywhere near 16. No, we're reading eight volts. So it is. It's, it's, it's pretty doing dead. It. I can't believe how fast it works. Yeah, it didn't take that long, really. I, I thought like, that was supposed to take a long time, if it even works, but I was convinced that it was a lot of I didn't salt. think it would work either. However, it's still kind of messy, so I still think there are some better ways. Yeah, that took like hours. No, I can think of one quick way to take a battery down to zero volts. Cut these off and just short circuit. That would take reduce it to zero all volts. potential. I wonder what would happen if we did that. I was the one who was willing to overcharge the batteries and I really, really don't want to be around this. This is going to be way less this dramatic. Way less. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're outvoted 3-1. I, I think I, this is Okay, well then I'll listen. Never mind. Wrong. Well, Tune in to find out. I was just if we can get 50,000 likes, you'll find out what happens in three seconds. We're going to connect the negative. Always connect your negative first, kids, so that you're not working with a live wire. We're going to connect negative here. Okay. Good. And... Wait, you're gonna do it right like that? Oh, no, 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 I don't no, think no, it's no, gonna no, be no, that no, crazy. Not right gonna freak out. He has the other one. I'm yet. freaking out. It's okay. Oh, see? see, totally uneventful. That's it. I thought this was gonna be way worse. I thought there was. Hang be, on. It's what? pretty big wire. It's probably absorbing a ton of the current. Get, Get a cell checker. Get a cell checker. Uh, each cell has got voltage. Whoa. Okay, so this. And it's, now it's warm, by the way. It's full charge. I mean, maybe a little tiny, but so, yeah, everything, it's So this is normal. actually an extremely dangerous scenario. So what's happened here is something inside the battery acted like a fuse and blew. So now what we have is a battery that's fully charged and no way to discharge it. That's He's right. That, that's not conductive. The tab ripped off or melted off or something. Okay. Just desoldered. Okay. That has to be what happened. Current was so high that it desoldered that we got so much current flow that the battery self-destructed. Okay, so that was a uh, pretty uneventful. <laughs> it didn't look like anything. I didn't even I see it. I thought it was going to be bad. Something bad still yeah, did happen. You ruined bad. your lead. You've got energy stored in the battery and you know, you don't have access to your main power lead. What we have here is a safe way to do it. What is what is this, Joshua? This is uh, the Ray Stay Quads, and it's designed by Jellybean FPV. Ray Stay Quads makes it. Uh, it is a battery killer, 
and it basically runs all of the battery current through this tiny little resistor and it kills the battery. It takes several days. It does it really slowly, which is safer. You do have to buy it. It's a few bucks. It's a nice little gadget. It is. And if you'd like one, link in the description. But you see, I am just really, really impatient person. Like, yeah. We could what? just use like a staple gun. Yeah, that's instant. I've seen a lot of people do this in the field, just kind of as a gag, right? Chop it with like a knife that they have or something like that. And it always kind of freaks me out. It's just a big back. plume of smoke, actually. It's surprising how sometimes you'll get big flames and sometimes you don't. That was just a big smoke bomb. Yeah. So I guess you got lucky. But it definitely yeah. well, will noting. always destroy the battery, mm -hmm. puncturing it's, it with something metal. Just that's the end. It's worth noting that we actually charged the battery all the way up too. So we were basically trying to get it as fully charged as possible to see if we could get it to catch on fire, but all it did was smoke. And that was with a nail gun. Mm -hmm. So you had another idea. Perfect <laughs> he perfectly shot that battery. Yeah, yeah so look at that. And one half of it did smoke and kind of start to want to go. The other half did had nothing. no reaction at Absolutely all. Absolutely nothing. Huh. It was just so that, bad. Why do you think that it didn't? My react? theory is that what makes it go off is when the the interleaving layers kind of touch each other, mm -hmm. and that the saw cut it so cleanly versus like a puncture, like it never where they're had a chance pressed to short into out. each other. I guess a takeaway here is that lipo damage is unpredictable. You can have the worst banged up lipo and it just, just seems fine, and then you can have another one that sometimes seems to have no damage at all and goes off. Like, just because you saw your buddies get away with cutting a lipo in half doesn't mean you should do it because you could end up with something could. worse happening. But if you're looking for a fast way, that definitely <laughs> was a fast way to do it. But, but it was faster, so it what's a faster. safe way that we can discharge the battery faster? What's this? This is a smoke stopper. And the number one purpose for a smoke stopper is to protect against short circuits in your quad, like you've accidentally bridged something that you shouldn't have. The first time you plug in your battery, the smoke comes out. Okay, so it's a smoke stopper, but does it also discharge or did you have to change something? Good question. So when you plug this in, it doesn't discharge the battery. But what I've done is I've created this, which is an XT60 that I have just bridged the pads. So which that's when I a dangerous do this, thing to have. Yeah. You shouldn't use you that for anything like this. If you put this on a battery by itself, You'd you be will going short back to a previous method that, that we yeah. tried. But because the light bulb limits current, this is completely safe to do. And the battery will discharge slowly over the course of several hours. And in the meantime, you could use it for studio lighting. Just yeah. Oh, wow. hey, yeah, hey, yeah, look hey. at that. If you're gonna do this, definitely make sure it's somewhere safe. The bulb can get pretty hot. Probably not gonna start a fire or anything, but it might like melt something or I don't know. So just put it somewhere safe on a hard surface, a ceramic or stone surface. Or I just, I don't, know that I don't have to buy anything. And also I just don't want to wait three days to discharge lipo. Why not just like go fly a quad at full throttle until it falls out of the air? Yeah! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, oh, boy. Oh, 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 it's, it's on, on fire! fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh. my whole flight controller went up in smoke. Oh my god! What happened? I it it I melted know the XT60 Too and Too many amps. I know exactly okay. what happened because I've had the same thing with race quads actually in the past. <laughs> where if your, your KV is really, really high and you don't have thick enough wire and you're not using the, the proper solder on a power lead, if you hold it, even with a race quad, wide open on a thick prop, I've had XT60 do that same thing. I it wonder, really kind of looking at your solder joints here, Drew. Uh-oh, build quality. It does not look like these had to unmelt very much. That was definitely faster, but still mm -hmm. not the safest. And everybody running after it with smoke coming out, you could do that. Yeah, and I actually damaged my drone. Well, well, yeah, we so actually failed the battery to kill died. the battery by Correct. doing that, so that was a complete fail. Overall, it's just a little bit reckless. If you decide to do it that way, do it line of sight, because your video will drop out before the battery dies. But yeah. it still wasn't the best way to discharge the battery. No. The charger has a discharge program, but actually, in the interest of safety, it actually only discharges the battery down to 3.0 volts I per cell. It won't take it all the way down. It doesn't, they tip, I've none, that I've, none that I've ever known will take them all the way down. So at 3.0 volts per cell is definitely better than 4.2. It doesn't actually fully discharge the cell. I know a way that's more fun to discharge a battery that gets even hotter, and that is the van overcharge. Yeah! 
So right now, all I'm doing is going in, because the ISDT chargers have a setting to HV the batteries. In what is the HV? HV? HV is where you go over the recommended voltage. The recommended voltage you're supposed to ever charge a battery to is 4.2 volts a cell. However, ISDT chargers in particular will go to 4.4 a cell while balancing the battery. Personally, I can't recommend or not recommend this. I'd only recommend it if you're in a race and you're struggling with flight time. But if you're going to do this, obviously, don't charge it at above 1C and also watch the battery. I'm going to get it up to 4.4 and then from there, I'm going to go like 7 amps nickel metal hydride. Okay. But why not just do that right away? Because nickel, you want to get it like balanced because then all the cells will be up. Because if you just nickel metal hydride, some of the cells won't get all the way up there. Uh -huh. You basically want it as high as it can go already and then you push it up even higher. We are explaining too much as how to do this. Yeah, when the bottom should. line is you should not you should do never, this. This will destroy the battery pretty quickly. Only five amps? Yeah. Well, all the amps. I've never actually done this. Do this is Four, 14, 14 amps. amps? Alrighty. Oh yeah, it's gone. You can hear it. You can hear it. It's gone. You can hear it. You ready? The fire extinguisher. Oh! Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> Successfully destroyed the battery. Good job. <laughs> Give him the high five. I did all the work. Give yeah, it. Bring that in. Work. Bring that in. Well, I have um, to show you like how ugly that can get real quick. Imagine so this. you overcharge real quick. Imagine a flame that big in your bedroom. Even if it doesn't take your house down, like your bedroom ain't the same anymore. It's gonna it's gonna leave a lasting effect. Don't yeah, ask me how I know. Your house. Yeah. I've never had a lipo fire and ran away from it. Oh, oh no! Oh, watch oh, this. No. Look at Jeff. Don't worry, Jeff's gonna take care of it. Freaking out. It's like saying. <laughs> That is not how you're supposed to use a charger to discharge a battery. It was spectacular looking, but definitely not safe. Not something you should recreate but a dream. But it honestly no. didn't take that long. It took a lot less no, time to do fast. that it was, it was than it was to do about any of the other As an advantage, when it was done, you knew it was for sure discharged. It was really so not like, oh, is it, do I need to leave it on there a little bit longer? You know, a great yeah. way to tell if your pack really is done is if it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the community who suggested this. We're always listening to suggestions from them, and this is one of the episodes that you guys wanted, so now we made it, and we hope you love it. Visit our store for some ways that you can safely discharge your batteries. Which of these did you like the most, and are there any that we overlooked? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Wait, I just am like seeing this later. now, Van Overcharge. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not a grand overcharge? That's not good. My last name cannot incorporate the word charge.